With JoGet Workflow, creating apps just got a whole lot easier. Using a drag and drop visual interface, build web apps for both desktop and mobile smartphones very quickly. In this tutorial, we'll create a full-fledged app to handle customer service requests in minutes. In the App Center, log in as the administrator. The default username and password is admin, admin. The center displays a grid of published apps. On the right is the admin bar, which contains quick links to manage apps, users, monitoring and system settings. Try clicking on all apps. This opens an overlay showing all the published and unpublished apps. To close the overlay window, click on the large X button on the top right. As the administrator, you can either design a new app, import an existing app, or install an app directly from the marketplace. Let's design a new app. Enter an app ID and a descriptive name. The forms and UI page shows the forms, lists, and user views in the app. You can create each of these components manually, or you could use the app generator to create them automatically, which we'll do a little later. The processes page shows the workflow processes designed for the app. The properties and export page allows you to configure other app properties and to export the app to be deployed somewhere else. First, let's go back to the forms and UI page to create a new form. Fill in the form details and click on save. Click on the button to launch the form builder in a new window. The first step in the form builder is the design form page. On the left is the palette containing available form elements. In the middle is the canvas containing one or more sections, and each section may contain one or more columns. When you mouse over a section header or any form element, buttons appear giving you options. Click on Edit Section. This opens a property editor showing properties that you can modify. Each form element has different properties that can be configured. Click on the OK at the bottom to save the property changes. You can add sections using Add Section, and move sections around by dragging. Drag form elements from the palette into any section. Hover any form element to see the edit and delete options. Click on edit to modify the form element properties. Let's set this as the title of the request. At any time, you may preview the form in a new window by clicking on the large preview button at the top. Let's add another text area to the form to capture the description of the request. Once you have finished designing the form, click on the large save button at the top and you will receive confirmation that the form is saved. You may then continue to design the form or close the form builder window. We're done with the first cut of our form. form. Available in the Enterprise Edition, the App Generator is a feature that greatly accelerates the building of an app. Using the App Generator, you can generate lists, CRUD or create read update delete elements, processes and user views directly from a form. To use the app generator, click on the large generate app button on the top right of the form builder. Make sure that the form is saved first. The app generator dialog will offer options to generate a list, generate CRUD, and a couple of built-in process templates. You can click on advanced generation to refine its options if you like. Select the first two options, and since we want to have a process to handle customer service requests, we'll select the assignment process. Click on Generate. Once the generation is complete, you can close the form builder. Reload the app design page and you will see a number of auto-generated forms, lists, user views and a process. The generated app is automatically published, and you will be able to launch the app from the App Center. Let's see what the app looks like in a desktop browser. This is the app user view, and here is the customer service request form. 
Oh, there is one more thing. The app that you created is mobile ready. If you access the app using a mobile smartphone, the app renders in a mobile view to suit the device. And that's it. You've built a full-fledged enterprise app within minutes. At this point, let's see how we can easily maintain or customize our app. The quick edit mode is a feature that allows administrators to identify forms, lists, and menus directly from the front end user view. This greatly simplifies management and maintainability of your apps. If you are logged in as an administrator, you will see a minimized admin bar on the right with buttons to toggle quick edit mode on or off. Once quick edit mode is enabled, elements within the user view page are highlighted with quick edit buttons. Clicking on the button will launch the respective builder in a new window. Let's edit our existing form to make the title mandatory and to add a priority field. In the form builder, edit the title text field and head to the advanced options or click next. Set the validator to default validator and click next. In the default validator, you can ensure that the field is mandatory. Let's now add a priority field using a drop down select box. With a select box, you can add options for a user to choose from. Save the form and close the form builder. Reload the user view page and you'll see the immediate changes in the form. One more thing before we go. For an even faster way to get your apps, you can install them directly from the JoGet Marketplace, which is an enterprise app store for Jogit apps and plugins. In the App Center, click on the Marketplace button. To download apps, you will first need to sign up for a free account. Once you've signed up, log in to the Marketplace. Browse to the app you're interested in, and just click on the Install App button at the top. The app will be seamlessly downloaded and installed for you, and it will appear as a published app in the App Center. You can proceed to modify or customize the app as required. Thanks for watching.